welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome I am your little darling narrator and on this channel I read stories not just any stories but I think I read some really great stories for the young readers and if you are not subscribed to this channel I strongly recommend you go ahead and you subscribe because all we do here are read good stories for the young readers and if there's any story that you like don't forget hit that like button that just helps this channel and we appreciate all the support that we've been getting so stay tuned The name of this story is called Franklin and the Thunderstorm by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could name the months of the year and all the seasons. He could read the thermometer and he checked the barometer every day. Franklin worried about the weather because he was afraid of storms. One day, Franklin was supposed to play at Fox's house, but the sky was getting dark and the clouds were thick. Maybe I shouldn't go, Franklin said to his mother. She looked out the window. It probably won't rain until later, she said. You have time to get to Fox's. Franklin put on his boots and took the umbrella. As Franklin hurried to Fox's house, he kept looking at the sky. The clouds moved quickly and the wind swirled dirt in the air. Franklin felt all jumpy inside. Fox was playing outside when Franklin arrived. Franklin pointed nervously at the sky. I think we should go inside, don't you? He asked. Not yet, Fox grinned. I love watching the clouds move and feeling the wind blow. It's exciting. I think it's scary, said Franklin. Beaver, Snail, and Hawk came over to play too. My fur feels funny when it's about to storm, said Fox. My feathers get all ruffled said Hawk. Beaver sniffed. <laughs> I can smell a storm coming. The wind became stronger. Hawk flew loop the loops. Whee! he cried. Franklin held on to his hat and shivered. It was almost as dark as night when the big fat raindrops began to fall. We should go in, shouted Franklin. No, said Fox, follow me. They raced to the treehouse where it was dry. Fox, called his mother, time for everyone to come in. It's all right, Fox shouted back. We're in the tree. Fox's mother was there in a second. It's dangerous to be near a tree during a storm, she said. Lightning strikes tall things first and you might get hurt. Franklin held on to Fox's mother all the way from the tree to the house. They were barely in the door when there was a flash of zigzag light. Lightning, shrieked Franklin. He trembled, kaboom, thunder, he screamed. It's okay, Franklin, said his friends. We're safe here. But Franklin had crawled deep inside his shell. Fox's mother brought treats. Still, Franklin wouldn't come out. Franklin's friends begged him to play, but Franklin stayed put. Then, with a flash and a crash, the lights went out. Don't worry, said Fox's mother. She lit candles and turned on a flashlight. 
won't you come out now? She asked Franklin. No, thank you, he mumbled. Don't be afraid, said Hall. All that noise, it's just cloud giants playing drums in the sky. Franklin peeked out. Really? he asked. No, it's not, giggled Snail. That noise is made when the giants go bowling. Franklin came out of his shell. But what about the lightning? That's easy, said Hawk. The cloud giants are turning their lights on and off. Fox smiled. I think it's the giants swinging from their chandeliers. Franklin laughed. Giants? That's ridiculous, said Beaver. Mr. Owl says lightning is a big spark of electricity that travels from the sky to the ground. The spark is so hot that it makes the air around it pop. That's the sound of thunder. Amazing, said Franklin. Franklin felt a little better. He even played flashlight tag with his friends. Soon, there was hardly any lightning. The thunder was a low rumble from far away, and the rain stopped. Then the lights came on. Storm's over, said Fox. Let's go outside and play. Look, said Franklin, a rainbow. I know why the storm is over, Franklin said. Those giants heard there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow, and they're gone to find it. Even Beaver had to smile. Well, that ends our story, and what a story it was. Franklin has a real fear of thunderstorms, and it's legit. He's, he's very, very legit at having that fear. A lot of people do. Now, what I really loved was how his friends were calming him down with really nice visuals for him. Remember, they told him that the clouds were having a band. That's why you heard the noise. Or they were bowling. And then with the lightning, they were, they were um, swinging on chandeliers or turning on and off the lights. That actually calmed Franklin down because you don't want people to really get, you know, um, stressed and really afraid because that's not really good for, for them. So that was really great. But here's the thing, um, young readers, storms are dangerous. So don't go out in there. If, you, if you're in the house, stay in the house. Wait till it's over, which is what they did. Now, here's a question I have for you. You ready? I heard them say once Franklin was calm and they were able to play, because the lights had went out, remember? They were going to play flashlight tag. What do you think that is? Because it really sounds fun and a really great game to play when the lights go out. Or if you just want to play it, turn out the lights and play it. But I really would love to know what that is. But it sounded like he had a great time. And remember, there was a rainbow at the end of that. That was really just icing on that cake for him. It just made everything calm. And I think as he goes forward, that thunderstorms aren't going to scare him as much. But he's going to be cautious, which is what Fox's mother was all about. Wanting them to be cautious, not terrified, just cautious. So until next time, my young readers, I am your little darling narrator, out.